Sister Wives Mary Brown admits she's unsure whether Robin actually wanted her to remain in polygamy. Things were not matching up. And Mary Brown says she warned now ex Amos about dating her due to her being in the public eye. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. The Sister Wives star said there was a lot of confusion following her decision to leave Cody. Sister Wives star Mary Brown is opening up about where her relationship with ex-husband, Cody Brown, and his wife, Robin Brown, now stands. Mary, 53, announced her separation from Cody after 32 years together in January 2023. And while he remains with his third wife, Robin, Mary said she is unsure what Robin really thought about the former pair's split. I don't know. I don't know, Mary who once had a close bond with Robin, said on the July 29th episode of the Sarah Fraser show when asked whether Robin was actually sad. To see her go, I think that she did want me to stay. I feel like that she was sad. I feel like that she had this idea, when she came in the family, of, you know, this big plural family. I really think that. However, Mary admitted that, things were not matching up either when it came to Robin's behavior, and the same was true with Cody. There was a lot of confusion, let's just say. As for whether she keeps in touch with Robin, 45, or her ex-husband, with whom she shares one. Child, 29-year-old Leon Brown. Mary said, I've seen them on occasion and talked and texted a little bit but it's not. You know, I'm in this place where I'm moving forward with my life. There's aspects of my life that they still need to be involved in. But my day-to-day is -day my best friend or my day-to-day is -day my people that are helping me to move forward, she shared. And I don't want to interact with people that are not helping me to move forward. Ahead of the premiere of the most recent season of Sister Wives last August, Robin spoke to people about how she was handling the transition from plurality to just being with Cody, as Christine Brown left Cody in 2021, followed by Janelle Brown in December 2022 and then Mary soon after. It's been hell, Robin said of how her husband was handling the three consecutive breakups. There have been times he's tried to self-sabotage and sabotage us. I've had to work hard not to let him. I feel like we failed. She admitted, the commitment we made, we were all in this together. We screwed it up. Cody, meanwhile, told people he could have done a lot better and that the three breakups were painful. But you have to hope we still have a friendship in the future because we're bound forever through our kids, he said, referring to his six kids with Janelle, 55, six kids with Christine, 52, and two children and three stepchildren with Robin. On earlier episodes of the podcast, Mary also chatted with host Sarah Fraser about her recent breakup with her boyfriend Amos, who was the first man she dated following her split from Cody, 55. Mary admitted that she gave her now ex a warning before they went public with their relationship, as her best friend Jen Sullivan said Amos was, sweetly naive, about it all. I knew what to expect, she knew what to expect, but he had no idea, Mary said, noting that she tried to prepare him as best as she could. We tried to, just be, like, hey, listen, this is what's going to happen. If you want to go public with the fact that we're dating, they're going to make things up. It just is what it is. Mary went public with Amos in January and revealed that they had been dating since October 2023. But by February, they had gone their separate ways. The reality star shared the news on Instagram as she reflected on a week of hard truths and difficult conversations, writing, I honor and care about the past four months, who I spent it with and what I learned about myself through it. Mary said that life in the spotlight was a bit of a shocker, to Amos before their February 2024 split. Mary Brown knows that life in the spotlight isn't for everyone. On a recent episode of the Sarah Fraser show, the Sister Wives star, 53, shared that she told her now ex Amos to, beware, of life in the public eye. He did not sign up for this, except for he kind of did, because I said, you know. What's gonna happen once we put you out on social media? if you want to be talked about on my Instagram, she said. Mary's best friend Jen Sullivan weighed in on her former beau, calling him, sweetly naive. He didn't realize that, like, people would care, 
she explained. So that was hard. And I kept saying you can literally do anything and they're going to tear you apart. And he's like, ah, it'll be fine. And so I felt really bad, but we did try to make sure that he was aware. And prepared for it, she added. The reality star shared that she and Jen tried to warn Amos about the potential pitfalls of a public relationship, saying, we tried to just be like, hey, listen, this is what's going to happen. If you want to go public with the fact that we're dating, they're going to make things up. It just is what it is. Jen noted that while there were things that came out that Amos would have preferred to keep private, there were also a lot of ridiculous made up things. I had already dug out his past, and so we had talked about it like before, she said of Amos. But still having him be under the microscope with me is one thing. Having him be under the microscope for every single person who loves Mary and wants to protect her, or maybe just those who wanted to try to ruin her relationship. Either way, it was a whole different thing. It's really hard. Mary said that life in the public eye was a bit of a shocker, to Amos, adding. I knew what to expect, she knew what to expect, but he had no idea. The TLC star went public with her relationship with Amos in January and revealed they had been dating since October 2024. Just one month later, Mary announced they had gone their separate ways. At the time, she reflected on the hard truths and difficult conversations she had to have last week as they ended their relationship. Life is a series of experiences. How you handle them and what you learn from them is who you become from them. It takes courage to face difficult truths, yet it's imperative in order to remain authentic to yourself and your commitment to personal growth, she began the lengthy caption. Just because I care a lot about someone, and him me, does not equate to full compatibility for a long-term relationship. When we have different dreams and aspirations, different communication styles and values, different visions for our futures, and these things aren't aligning. It's then that we need to make hard decisions, Mary continued. It's a strange and sad thing to care about someone so deeply, to look beyond their past, because heaven knows we all have one, to see the kindness in their eyes and their giving heart, and still know that a lifelong relationship isn't in the cards for you. It's been cool to reconnect with different people that maybe you don't see all the time, Mary said. Following a period of partial estrangement, Mary Brown is sharing insight into how the Brown family has since come together after the sudden death of Janelle and Cody Brown's son Garrison. In the Wednesday, July 24th episode of The Sarah Fraser Show, Mary gave an update on how she has been doing lately. She said that since losing Garrison in March, the grieving process has brought the Brown family closer for the first time in years. We definitely have had our moments where we've been together as a family and celebrated Garrison's life and those moments have been good and it's been cool to reconnect with different people that maybe you don't see all the time, the Sister Wives star, 53, shared on the podcast. Because we're living all over the place now and even the older kids, they've been off and living their lives for many years. She continued, it's good to be able to come back together and see each other and I do think there has been a little bit of healing between some of the relationships that I've seen. That's kind of cool to see that happen. Despite being there for each other, the TLC star explained that grief is not linear. With so many members of the Brown family, they all are having unique grieving experiences. I really think that grief is a very, very individual thing and it changes on the daily, she said. I know for me, sometimes I feel just fine and sometimes I'll see his phone number on my phone, which I haven't deleted yet. I was looking at it just last week, and... It brings tears to my eyes. Mary noted that even though she has been told that the whole, the loss of someone leaves will eventually fill back up, she doesn't think that is true. Instead, she said her approach is navigating how to live without needing to fill that void. I think every one of us in the family feels it at a different level at different times, she added. Garrison was found dead in his Flagstaff, Arizona home on March 5 due to an apparent suicide. Shortly after, Janelle and Cody released a statement confirming the news. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. Janelle captioned a series of photos of her son on Instagram. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. 
We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Cody also posted the same statement on his own Instagram page. Just days after Garrison's death, his sister McKelty took to Instagram to reveal that the family had all gathered together for the first time in years. I always like to look at the bright side of everything, McKelty, 27, explained in a video at the time. The bright side of his passing is he's obviously no longer in pain or hurting or sad cause he's in a better place. At least, I hope he's in a better place. The other bright side is I've got to see all of my family together for the first time in years, she continued. And I think that ultimately, obviously, Garrison would have been happy by that. I would have always wondered, maybe there might have been a chance. I'm very, very confident in where I am, the, sister wives, star said of her split from Cody Brown. Mary Brown may look back on her marriage to Cody Brown with, mixed, emotions, but she has no regrets about their time together. The sister wives star, 53, candidly discussed, whether she considers her 32-year marriage to Cody, wasted, time during part two of her appearance on the Sarah Fraser show, released on Wednesday, July 24. So I'm honestly, I'm a little bit mixed on it, sometimes. If I'm in more of a negative headspace, for lack of a better term, right? Like if I'm feeling like that, I'm like, gosh, dang it. Why couldn't we just figure this out a long time ago? I could have dated in my 40s rather than dated in my 50s. You know what I mean, said, Mary, like that would have been so much easier. You know, but then I really think about it, and it's like, wait a second. What did I learn through the process? She continued, how confident am I in where I am right now because of the process? You know what I mean. I don't have any regrets of where I am now and leaving when I left. Mary, who previously said she considered their marriage officially over in December 2022 and later confirmed the news in a January 2023 Instagram post, added that she feels she would have had regrets if she had left their relationship sooner than that. Janelle explains on the website, whether you prefer working out at home or at the gym, I will work with you to create a plan that fits your schedule and preferences. Additionally, Janelle has teamed up with her former sister wife, Christine Brown, to share wellness advice and products on their joint Instagram account, The Secret to Self-Care. One product that they regularly promote via their social media accounts is the health-based brand Plexus. Janelle is also active on Cameo, where she records personalized videos for fans for $50. She previously worked as a real estate agent when the family was living in Nevada. However, it is not currently clear if she plans to return to the field. Janelle Brown purchased property in North Carolina after Cody Brown split. Nearly two years after she and Cody called it quits, In Touch exclusively confirmed that Janelle bought a property in Chacoinity, North Carolina, for $289,000. She bought the land, which spans 156 acres. On March 28, 2024, according to documents exclusively obtained by InTouch in July 2024, the property was listed as agricultural. Sister Wives star Christine Brown is encouraging her fans to make changes to improve their lives. The TLC personality shared some motivational words for those facing challenges, drawing inspiration from her glow up following her split from Cody Brown. Over the last few years, many people have reached out to me, Looking for the courage to make a change, Christine, 52, shared with her Instagram followers on Sunday, July 7. Let this be the day that you step out into the uncomfortable, unfamiliar or even the sacri. Although, the TLC personality agreed that change is scary, she added, but we can do scary things. She concluded her positive post with the hashtags, empowered, make a change, and, believe in yourself. In the comments section, Fans applauded the mom of six for her transformation following her split from Cody, 55, whom she was spiritually married to from 1994 until 2021. Christine I can't begin to thank you for being there for me when you had no idea. One fan wrote, I was in an awful marriage for 10 years during that time and felt such a connection to you and what you experienced. I am not two years divorced and the happiest I have ever been. The Sister Wives star replied directly to the comment, 
interacting with heart and crying emojis. But haven't found my guy yet. It's been five years, another wrote under the photo. You got lucky girl. It's more about you love, Christine urged, sending an encouraging message to the viewer. Christine was single, for more than a year before she confirmed her relationship with David Woolley in February 2023. Only two months later, the pair took a major step in their relationship and revealed David, 60, got on what I would have always wondered, maybe there might have been a chance. I'm very, very confident in where I am, she said. Jen Sullivan, Mary's best friend who also appeared on the podcast, echoed similar sentiments, telling host Sarah Fraser that the two had previously discussed Mary's decision to stay in the marriage as long as she did. She's always come back and said, I don't have to worry because I know I don't have any what ifs left, said Sullivan. Mary has been a mainstay on the Sister Wives since its premiere in 2010. Along with Mary, Cody was married to Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown. Cody and Christine then announced their split after more than 25 years of marriage in November 2021, and Cody and Janelle officially confirmed their separation in December 2022. Robin remains his only wife. I could have done a lot better, Cody told people about his broken marriages in August 2023. Every day I think about a place where if I would have managed things differently, if I would have said something differently, we might have moved forward in a different way. It's hard to say that because you get in a place where you feel like, is my life still headed the direction that it's supposed to? I don't think that we ever would have thought that we would have gone this long, Mary Brown said of the reality series Mary, 53, candidly discussed the hit TLC show's future, and why she believes people still tune in as it approaches. It's 19th season, on the newest episode of The Sarah Fraser Show, which aired Monday July 22nd. You know, it's hard to say like, is it getting bigger? Is it on the downhill? I mean, we've been going for so long, and it's not something that's going to go forever. You know, it's just not, Mary said while appearing on the podcast with her best friend, Jen Sullivan. Mary first appeared on Sister Wives in 2010 during the reality series' first season on TLC. The show followed Cody, Brown, his four wives at the time, Mary, Janelle, Christine and Robin Brown, and their combined 18 children as they navigated life as a polygamist family. In November 2021, life as the family knew it was flipped upside down when Christine left Cody and the plural marriage. Thirteen months later, Janelle announced her separation from Cody, followed by Mary's confirmation in December 2022 that Cody no longer considered himself married to her after 32 years together. She later confirmed the news in a January 2023 Instagram post. On the podcast, Mary acknowledged that the show had been on the air for so long because people liked the drama, but noted that its longevity would eventually come to a close. No show ever goes on forever. Right. But you can't predict it either. You know. I don't think that we ever would have thought that we would have gone this long. You know what I mean. And we have, she said. Mary also joked that fans were first drawn to the series. Because, it's a train wreck. About, this guy with all these wives and a zillion kids. But then, as the show progressed, I think people very much created like their favorites. You know, she said. Like, I'm a favorite. Everybody's team Mary or everybody's team Janelle or Christine. People create their favorites. They just connect. It's very normal, she said. They're going to connect with different people, right? And so now, they're watching as we're going our different ways and doing our thing because they want to know what is happening in our lives. Since her split from Cody, Mary has made sure to keep fans in the loop with her life. In February, she revealed that she had broken up with her boyfriend Amos. While the two had only been dating since October 2023, it marked her first public relationship since ending things with Cody. I honor and care about the past four months, who I spent it with, and what I learned about myself through it. I know what's important to me in a relationship, and I'm confident in myself while I'm single as well, she expressed in a lengthy Instagram post at the time. Mary has since told fans that she knows what she wants in her next relationship. I want somebody who knows who he is and is confident in who he is, she said in April.
Because I know who I am and I'm confident in who I am and I need somebody who can match my energy. When we cross paths, we'll know it. I always appreciate the support, the comments of support I get, and obviously, I don't appreciate the hate that comes at me, Mary said. The Sister Wives star, 53, opened up about how public opinion impacts Leon, 28, on the recent episode of The Sarah Fraser Show. Mary explained on the podcast that for every positive comment there is also a negative one. The commentary that I get about Leon is very polarizing, she said. It's just gonna be that way. I always appreciate the support, the comments of support I get, and obviously, I don't appreciate the hate that comes at me. She added, I don't think hate has any purpose or any value. Mary also shared that Leon likes to have their own life, away from the spotlight as much as they can. Still, the TLC star revealed she is very supportive of her child. Leon and I have a good relationship and I don't talk about them a lot because they want to remain private, she said. When it comes to Leon's future, Mary stayed quiet, joking that she can't speak on any babies potentially joining the family but she does have three grand dogs, through Leon. I'm a dog grandma, she laughed. Leon, who Mary has always voiced her support for, first revealed they are transgender through an Instagram post in June 2022. They wrote a lengthy message about their experience. Someone recently told me that I didn't have to have all of my s figured out in order for me to share myself with the world, the caption read. So, here's me, definitely not having almost any of my s figured out, to let you know that I am trans. My name is Leon or Leo, I love both, and my pronouns are they, them, they continued, reflecting on the first time they knew they didn't identify as a girl. I was pretty young and unfortunately I grew up in a context that was incredibly gendered and restrictive. So I continued to be socialized as a girl and later a woman. And here's the thing, I'm finally ready to share my favorite self. With the world. And that self is incredibly genderqueer, trans, and unapologetic, Leon explained. Being queer and trans are definitely some of my favorite parts of myself. And yet, there are so many things that I am learning to love about myself through this process, they concluded. Here's to me getting to know myself, share myself, and continually evolve to be the person I am, to be my favorite self in all contexts. Mary has frequently shown her public support for Leon, who is the businesswoman's only child with ex-husband Cody Brown. On Transgender Day of Visibility last year, Mary shared a loving message for Leon and their partner Audrey Chris smiling, captioning the post, I see you. I love you. I got you. She added the message, protect trans kids. Working woman. While Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is best known for starring alongside her former husband, Cody Brown, and Sister Wives on the TLC show, she also makes money outside of the reality TV gig. What is her net worth and how does she make money? Janelle has an estimated net worth of $400,000, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Janelle has been starring on Sister Wives since the series premiered in 2010. While it's assumed that Janelle and her family earn stable paychecks from the show, it's not clear how much money she is taking home from each episode. Reality producer Terrence Michael has estimated that reality families earn about 10% of a show's per episode. Budget. It's believed that TLC spends between $250,000 and $400,000 per episode on its shows, which means the Browns take in $25,000 to $40,000. However, the money would have to be split between all of the family members. It was previously reported in 2019 that the family took a pay cut to keep the show on the air amid low ratings. How else does Janelle Brown make money? Janelle also makes money through her health and lifestyle business, Strive with Janelle. According to the company's website, she has been a certified health coach since 2019. My coaching is all about you your goals, your challenges, and your needs. I offer personalized plans that are tailored to your lifestyle and preferences, so you can achieve your fitness goals in a sustainable and enjoyable way, Janelle explains on the website. Whether you prefer working out at home or at the gym, I will work with you to create a plan that fits your schedule and preferences. Additionally, Janelle has teamed up with her former sister wife, Christine Brown, 
to share wellness advice and products on their joint Instagram account, The Secret to Self-Care. One product that they regularly promote via their social media accounts is the health-based brand Plexus. Janelle is also active on Cameo, where she records personalized videos for fans for $50. She previously worked as a real estate agent when the family was living in Nevada. However, it is not currently clear if she plans to return to the field. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.